Hi all you cool cats and kittens, it's Evelyn here with Storytime and I am so excited to have all of you listening. Uh, did you bring your hands? Everybody have their hands with them? Alright, then let's get our rhythm going. Boing, boing, squeak, boing, boing, squeak, there's a story in my house. It's been about a week. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it's been. I don't know. Where did it go? I want to hear it again. I look to my left. I look to my right. I look all around. It's still out of sight. I look on the ground and over my head. Shh, there's something in my bed. Let's see what it is today. Oh, it's a little person and another little person and a third little person. Oh, I think they're neighbors and we are doing all stories about neighbors today and being a good neighbor and all sorts of things. So let's get these little guys. Um, I think I'll just have them sit right up here and that, whoops, and that'll work. Oh, oh no. I mean, I'll balance this one, I'll balance. So, oh, wait, there, okay, let me try again, let me try again. So we'll put up the one with the red hat, and then this guy, and then, ta-da, they're all balanced. Wait a second. Oh, let me try once more. Let's see, so this guy, he goes there, and then he goes, and then they go up here. Oh, uh, and he knocked down part of my felt. All right, you guys are not good at balancing, I'm going to put you off to the side to listen, since you can't stay up there. Ugh. And I'm going to fix my felt here. And I am going to tell you our first story, which is called Dalmatian in a Digger. And it comes from a book. I don't have the book with me, but it comes from a book by Rebecca Elliott. Well, one day, little Dalmatian woke up to a very exciting noise. What's that noise, he said, it woke me up. And the noise went like this. Dugger, dugger, digger, dugger, dugger, digger. <gasps> he looked out the window and, oh my gosh, it's a Dalmatian in a digger. Sure enough, it was, and it was making that sound. Dugger, dugger, digger. Can you guys say it with me? Dugger, dugger, digger. Dugger, dugger, digger. Dugger, dugger, digger. Oh, he's scooping up dirt. He's dumping it over there. Wow. Then he heard another sound. Brum, brum, wee. Brum, brum, wee. Oh, what's that noise? Brum, brum, wee. It really made me jump. Oh, oh my gosh. It's a camel in a crane. She's picking up the logs, then lifting them up high. Brum, brum, wee. Brum, brum, wee. Oh, wow. Then he heard a dump splat crash. Dump splat crash. Yeah. Dump splat crash. <gasps> what is that? Oh, my gosh. It's a duck in a dump truck. <gasps> oh, he's filling up his truck. He's delivering the dirt. Dump, splash, crash. Dump, splat, crash. <gasps> then he heard a tug, tug, beep. <coughs> tug, tug, beep. What is that? Oh, it's a bear in a bulldozer. Oh, she's pushing all those rocks. She's making a huge pile. <gasps> tug, tug, beep. Tug, tug, beep. Well, look at this. It's all the machines together making all those noises. Can you say them after me? Dugger, dugger, digger. Dugger, dugger, digger. Brum, brum, wee. Brum, brum, wee. Dump, splat, crash. Dump, splat, crash. Tug, tug, beep. Tug, tug, beep. Good job. What are they building? Oh, my gosh. 
they are building a super amazing tree house for me and all my neighbors to play in. Yay! Oh, what an exciting day. The end. Good job listening and thank you for helping me make all of those sounds. All right, let's get our hands out and let's go to the moon. Ready? We're going to go like this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Now you get low. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Should we do it again? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Wow, I think we went all the way to space. Good job. Our next book is this one called Two Tall Houses by Diane Gianna Marino, rather. Rabbit and Owl lived in two small houses on top of a hill. Rabbit liked to grow vegetables in the sun. And Owl enjoyed the view of the forest. In the evening, they played under the twilight sky. They were good neighbors and good friends. Until one day. Rabbit! Owl complained. Your garden is growing too tall. I can't see the forest. But what can I do? replied Rabbit. I have to grow my food. So Owl began to build his house taller. Rabbit watched and chittered his teeth. Owl, look what you did! Your house is blocking the sun from reaching my garden. But I have to see the forest, said Owl. So Rabbit built his house taller too and planted some vegetables on the roof. But when Rabbit watered his rooftop plants, it made Owl very angry. So Owl built his house even taller. I want to be the tallest, yelled Rabbit. What? screeched Owl. You are so far below me that I can't hear you. So Rabbit built his house even taller and put a fence around his garden. Who, who, who do you think you are? screeched Owl and he went to find more twigs for his house. And Rabbit went to fetch more soil for his house. And soon they had the two tallest houses in the world. Whoa. up my ladder, cried Rabbit. And I can't see the forest, said Owl. Whoa, way up high, the wind roared and bellowed. Whoosh, creak, and blew the two tall houses into the air. Crack! Whoosh! Hold on, Rabbit! cried Owl.
They landed with a plunk. All I have left is a pile of dirt, moaned Rabbit. My house is a bunch of broken twigs, sighed Owl. Alone, they had nothing. But together, they had all they needed to build one small house. The end. All right, let's see. Can you guys get out your hands? And we're gonna do this, ready? This is a little tricky. You have to go like this with each one of your fingers. Johnny, 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 whoop! Johnny, whoop! Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. I'm gonna do it again. Johnny, 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 whoop! Johnny, whoop! Johnny, 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 Johnny. Good job. Now let's do the little green frog song. So if you want to stand up and do it, you can do this one standing up. But it goes like this. It's a little tricky, but it's pretty fun. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm -mm, went the little green frog. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. And they all went, mm -mm, ah. But we know frogs go, shalam a lam a lam shalam a lam a lam Shalam a lam a lam, we know frogs go. Shalam a lam a lam, they don't go. Mm -mm, ah. Beep beep went the little red truck one day. Beep beep went the little red truck. Beep beep went the little red truck one day, and they all went beep beep beep. But we know trucks go. <laughs> We know trucks go, they don't go, beep, beep, beep. Hop, hop, went the little brown squirrel one day. Hop, hop, went the little brown squirrel. Hop, hop, went the little brown squirrel one day. And they all went hop, hop, hop. But we know squirrels go rub-a-dub-a-dub, rub-a-dub-a-dub, rub-a-dub-a-dub. We know squirrels go. Rub a dub a dub, they don't go hop, hop, hop. Good job, everybody. All right, let's get out our hands. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly creep them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, ah, but do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake, shake, shake them, shake them just like this. Roll them, roll them, roll, roll, roll them, blow a little kiss. Mwah. Good job. All right, if you were standing up, sit back down. And if you were sitting down, you can stay sitting down. Our next story comes from this book by Janet Stevens. This is one of my favorites. It's called Tops and Bottoms. And look, it's got a rabbit and a bear. And this is a great book, but we are going to tell it with some felts today. So... Once upon a time, there was a bear. Hello. Bear had lots of land, lots of money, no family, and he was very, very lazy. All he liked to do was sleep. There also was, next door to him, a rabbit. Pop, 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 pop. Rabbit had a large hungry family. Rabbit had no money, no garden, and no land. But Rabbit was a hard worker. So one day, Rabbit went to Bear with an idea. Rabbit said, Hey! Hey! Bear! Wake up! Wake up! Bear was sleeping. Huh? What? What? Where? Oh! Uh, what? What? What's going on? What's going on? Well, hey! Listen! Listen! We can be business partners! I had a great idea. See? You have land. You don't want to work. I don't have land, I'm willing to work. I will plant and I'll harvest the crops and we'll split it right down the middle. You can have half of it. Oh, so so I don't have to do any work at all? No, nope, no work at all. It's gonna be nice and easy for you. 
I can just keep sleeping? Yep, sleep away. Okay, sure. Uh, that sounds good. Okay, so then tell me, do you want the top half or the bottom half? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll take the top half. Yeah, yeah, the, the top half is the best of any part. Okay, you've got yourself a deal. And they shook hands. Then Bear went off to go back to sleep. Good, goodbye. And Rabbit went off to get to work. He and his family planted seeds. Do you want to plant with me? Boop, boop, boop. Can you guys do that? Boop, boop, boop. They watered the land. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Do you want to do that? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And they waited. Well, pretty soon, enough days had gone by and the sun had come out and warmed those plants and things started to grow. First grew crispy red radishes. Mm. And then grew some crunchy orange carrots. And finally, some hearty brown potatoes. Everything grew and grew, and pretty soon it was harvest time. Rabbit went hopping over to Bear's house and knocked on the door. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Bear, wake up, wake up. Bear was fast asleep. <gasps> Bear finally woke up. Huh? What? What's going on? What's going on? Well, said Rabbit, it's harvest day. So we split the crops and I remembered what you said. So you get the tops. And he took boop, 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 all the greens growing. And I will keep the bottoms. And he took those crunchy orange carrots and those snappy red radishes and those tasty brown potatoes. Here you go. Bear looked down. Then he looked at Rabbit. Hey! You tricked me! You got all the, the good yummy stuff, and I just got... <sniffs> There's nothing here. I don't want to eat this. Rabbit said, Oh dear! Bear, I'm sorry. I did not mean to trick you. You just said you wanted the tops, but I tell you what. Do you want to do it again? And this time, we can switch it up? Yeah, said Bear. This time, I want the bottoms and you get the tops. Okay, said Rabbit, and shook hands. You've got yourself a deal. Okay, said Bear, and Bear went back to sleep. Well, Rabbit and his family planted the seeds. Boop, boop, boop. They watered them. Whoosh, whoosh and they waited. And after many days, with the sun warming all those plants, they started to grow. This time, the things that grew were delicious green asparagus. That's my favorite. Some juicy red tomatoes and some snappy green peas. Soon it was time for the harvest and Rabbit went over to Bear's house and banged on the door. Bang, 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 bang. Bear, wake up, wake up. Bear was asleep. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, what, what, what's going on? What's, what's, what's happening? What, what do you want, Rabbit? Rabbit said, well, Bear, it's harvest time. And I remembered what you said, so this time you get the bottoms and I get the tops. Okay, well, okay, that sounds good. So they went out to the garden and Rabbit picked that asparagus and those juicy tomatoes and those snappy peas for himself and his family. And then he dug up the roots boop, boop, and gave them to Bear. Here you go. Bear looked down. Hey, you tricked me. You, you got all the yummy stuff 
and and I just got the... What am I supposed to do with this? Rabbit said, well, I don't know, but you wanted the bottoms. Oh, no, said Bear. Hey, we're going to do it again, and this time I get the tops and the bottoms. Rabbit said, okay, Bear, that's fine, that's fair. You've got yourself a deal. And off he went. Well, Rabbit's family got the seeds and planted them. Boop, boop, boop. They watered them. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. They waited for the sun to do its work, and pretty soon the plants started to grow. This time, Rabbit and his family had planted tasty sweet corn. Mmm. And pretty soon, it was all ready for harvest. So Rabbit went over to Bear's house. Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Hey, hey, Rabbit! I mean, Bear, wake up! Wake up! It's Rabbit! And Bear was asleep. <sighs> bang, bang, bang! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, what? What's going on? What's happening? Oh, Rabbit, what are you doing here? Bear, it's harvest day. And I remembered what you said. So you get the tops and the bottoms. And they went out to the field, and Rabbit picked the tassels from the tops of the corn, boop, 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 and picked the corn for himself and his family, and then dug up the roots, boop. Here you go, Bear. Hey, you tricked me again. That's it. From now on, I am going to plant my own vegetables, and I'll just do it myself. I don't like being in business with you anymore, Rabbit. Suit yourself, said Rabbit. Well, Rabbit and his family had gotten so much food that they'd been able to sell some of it to buy their own land. So from then on, Rabbit's family was all set, and Bear learned not to be quite so lazy. Rabbit and Bear remained neighbors and friends, but they never went into business together again. The end. All right, great listening, everybody. Now, um... Let's see. Let's say a little rhyme about a turtle. I had a little turtle. I put him in the bath just to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. He got a bubble in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop! Good job. Let's get our hands. Well, the noble Duke of York he had 10,000 men. First he marched them to the top of the hill, and then he marched them down. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Good job. And then let's do one about some ants. Five hungry ants walking in a line. They came across a picnic where they thought that they could dine. They walked through the salad. They walked into the cake. They walked into the pepper. Oh, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo! Now there's four hungry ants walking in a line. They came across a picnic where they thought that they could dine. They walked into the salad. They walked into the cake. They walked into the pepper. Oh, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo! Now there's three. Three hungry ants walking in a line. They came across a picnic where they thought that they could dine. They walked into the salad. They walked into the cake. They walked into the pepper. Oops, that was a mistake. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, choo! Two hungry ants walking in a line. They came across a picnic where they thought that they could dine. They walked into the salad. They walked into the cake. They walked into the pepper. Now that was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo! One hungry ant, walking in a line, came across a picnic where it thought that it could dine. They walked into the salad. They walked into the cake. He walked into the pepper. Now that was a mistake. Ah, 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 Choo! No more ants. All right. 
Now we are at that point where you start sitting down and then when you hear the words knees up, you can get up and dance. And I've got a new limberjack friend today that I just finished making for everybody to see. Look at this guy. Oops. Say hello. Hello. There was a robot from France who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sit back down. Well, rabbit tricked lazy bear, which really wasn't fair. The only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sit back down. Robot would just like to say, thanks for coming to story time today. The only other thing that he can do is knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Beep boop, beep boop. Knees up, Mother Brown. Beep boop. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Faster. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Woo! Wiggle, wiggle fingers right up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers. Wave them all goodbye. You guys were great listeners. Thanks for tuning in for story time. We're here every day at 10 o'clock and um, also on weekdays. And then also all of our videos are saved so you can watch all your favorite storytellers. All right. Take care.